to refer to me. And that young girl called Ivy, she came up with the word Rigiji. This year. You want to see her? Come here, they see you. And still single. <laughs> so this, this young girl. <laughs> so this young girl here, called Ivy Chelimo, is the inventor of Rigiji, which I have patented and it's a trademark. If you use it, you must pay me millions. <laughs> and because she's a lawyer by profession, she now works in my office as a strategist in matters communication. <laughs> Please sit down. I've come here. I want to give you an opportunity to ask questions, isn't it? Do you want to ask me questions? But before you do, I've come here with some young leaders. Just to show you. Yeah? I want to invite one great young man, the one and only Peter Salasia. <laughs> Three minutes. Three minutes. You want him to say something? Yeah. Aye. Asante. <laughs> Asante. Ah, Professor Sivile. Alleluia. Ah, salam alaikum. Leo mesema vizuri. Bas, najua wengi tunakutananga na nyinyi TikTok. Sasa leo umeona tu hapa. So, nataka nishukuru sana leo kufika hapa Pwani University. Na mimi nataka nishukuru sana the management ya Pwani University kwa sababu you have been playing a very key role in inviting great people of this nation to come to speak to the young people. And I think this is the first university that I have invited the deputy president to come and speak to them. I've seen the other week we had some other visitors who have come. It means that you care about your fraternity and uh, the vice chancellor you deserve uh, to be clapped for, right? One thing I've learned from our deputy president is one. This is the first time that I'm sharing a platform with him. And uh, one thing is that lazima ufiche kitu fulani watu wengine wakuone yani wakudrao kidogo na alafu ukuje uonyeshe kitu fulani. Unaona wewe tumeji nina kanga tu chizi chizi. Lakini ikifika kwa ground unaona vile napaka kazi. So that is how it means. It's only today I've known that the deputy president of Kenya ni mtu alisoma political science. Na alisoma mambo ya literature. Na naongea kizungine tamu sana. So, hiyo yani unaona anaambia watu wengine kizungine yake ni kidogo lakini ni mwerevu. So, me I can just say this that uh, whatever he has just shared is the truth of the matter. I remember in the year 2011 In the year 2011 when I was joining Igaton University for the uh, as the first year our lecturer took one hour just to give us a platform for each and every member of that school uh, uh, just to share his ambition of where he wants to become in the life I didn't know that one day maybe I'll become a politician or I'll become any else when it reached on my side I just said that I want to be a pastor or a leader everyone loved that to me by the way it came it was like a joke so and it went like that Later on is when I just discovered the leadership coming in, and that is it. And by the time I was going to look for the member of uh, parliament, I was, get, I was doing some teaching in a certain college. And I was being paid uh, 10K a uh, month. Kama when I mzuri 13K. And I had an ambition of being an MP. Sasa watu wanaanza kunyanyua wewe ni mwenda simu. You are a madman. They called me a madman. So, and because I had a big ambition, So one thing me I'll just
Sasa mimi siwezi kujua mbezi yako hapo. Erected to serve as the Pwani University, uh, Erected to serve as the Secretary General of the for the year. Yeah. In my fourth year, I ran to be the uh, Senator for Nyandarwa. It was very difficult for me to uh, shuffle between being a comrade here and being a candidate at home. But I want to say something. The things that you've said, the problems that you have uh, stated here, I have lived all those problems, and I know them, all of them, one by one. In fact, I know the president was only courteous. You should have said, Ikifika jioni, tunanda pale lavas park, na hatuna wapenzi, tunakoja maembe yanguke, ndiyo tukure, ndiyo yeyo lanche yeyo siku ikue. Comrades, power! The president has only been courteous, your excellency. If he was candid, na ingekuwa ni siku hile ni muti ya kusama ukweli. Ange kuambia para kwa mes, siku hile heru bimekuja, sisi tunakura kuku. Heru bikiendelea kuhisha, tunakura na kuku. Heru bikiisha, tunakura kama kuku. Na ange kuambia para kwa mes, siku kama wakati mwezi inafika kona, hapo tunakura wali dabu, na hakuna kitu ingira tunaweza, tunayakeo sufu na inakua sawa sawa. Your Excellency the Deputy President, kama President ange kuwa muti ya kuwambia ukweli, ange kuambia on a very good day, tukienda uko kebaoni, tunakura chapati mbili na mchicha. That is the best that we can, na leo... Leo nimesikia mbesema amutaki kura kama kuku, amutaki kura kuku, no, amutaki kura kama kuku, amutaki kura kama na kuku, mnataka kukura kuku. Na mdusi ya mekuja mnemuona? Muna mutambua? Muna jua naweza kufanya nyi mkule kuku? Hata naweza kufanya mkule mpaka mbuzi? Hata naweza kufanya mkule mpaka ngombe? Hata naweza kufanya mkule leo na kesho? Hini muna jua huyu ni Deputy President wa Kenya? Your Excellency the Deputy President, allow me to say the last thing that I want to say here. After leaving all those problems that you are mentioning here, His Excellency, the Deputy President, has told you, one day those people who are seated there will sit on this very bench that is in front here. If then you are looking for that person, I am that person who was here, seated just like you are seated here, from 2013 to 2017, seeing Professor James Kahindi 
this one seated here, as my deputy vice chancellor. In the School of Humanities led by Professor Harimu Shauri, who is, I think, around here. Taking Bachelor of Arts, Sociology and Political Science here. And now, I'm not seated with you, comrades, there. I'm seated here with the Deputy President. Because it is possible that you can come from wherever you are seated. And you can sit on the front bench here. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, my final thoughts on the comrades who are here. If then you want to sit on this front bench, there are many things that you have to do. Everything that has been said here is what you're supposed to do. But ultimately, ultimately, you must know that what brought you to this university is getting a degree. You can make many things. You can, uh, you can uh, make a lot of Mary. You can go to Kibaoni, Wakati Mambo, Sawasawa. But don't forget, what brought you here is a degree. If you don't go with a degree at home, you shall have let down your parents who sent you here. Because the aspirations of your parents who could not become uh, 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 degree holders are held in you people. Your parents and your mother and your father are really working very hard. Wakienda kwa ofisa wa bunga wako hapa. Waki wataftia basari. How I wish that you, your parents would be the last people in your lineage to apply and look for basaris. Because you shall be empowered. You shall have the capacity to take your own children or end up at university or some baka maru anataka. Bila kuomba basari hata siku moja. Because my own parents were looking... When I joined this university, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, nikitoka pala jambini, nilikuja na shiringi yarufu kumi na tisa, na hiyo ilikuwa utajiri yetu yote kama familia. Tulikuwa tumauza kila kitu na kila mutu mwanya na zauzika huko nyumbani. I came here, I paid school fees for 11,500. Nikalipa uh, hostel, hostel one, mimi nikona ka hostel one, room five. Nikalipa 4,500. Hiyo yarufu tatu ilibaki, ilifaku nweka mimi hapa tamu muzima, uh, semester muzima. And I was here, and I never got any other money from home. But it never stopped me from dreaming big and becoming a big person. Because to me, I'm doing what I'm saying, what I'm doing, 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 So you can become a big person, and it is very, very possible. I want to make the final vote, Your Excellency. I want to ask you, comrades, Mpendane Sana, work together. Is stronger than the superimposed forces that keeps you apart. Had my co uh, colleagues in that course not been very, very friendly to me, for sure Your Excellency would not have graduated from this university. Because it was very, very difficult for me to attend your group work. Na kuenda nyumbani kufanya siyasa. Kwa hivyo kama hiko kombri tumoja hame sahau kuja wakati ya group work. Tafadhali mumu kubalisha ya saina hapo chini na mumu ambia kusiku ingine. Kombri tupawa! Comrades, power! I wish you well, Asantani Sana, and Amungu Abariki. Thank you. Let me also introduce another great alumni from this university who has come from here and graduated, risen through the ranks, and is today the Principal Secretary for Cabinet Affairs in the Office of the Deputy President, Idris Dakota. One minute. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, observed Comrades Power. Power. Comrades Power. Power. Today is your day. Your Excellency is taking your guest sana. But I want to tell this young blood here that I was once here. I joined this place, in uh, this institution in 2010 and graduated in 2014 with bachelor's degree in commerce. Then later on, I proceeded to China for my master's and PhD. I graduated in 2023 with PhD in economics. So from what our deputy president has actually outlined, he has given us five very important uh, attributes. He talked about uh, determination. He talked about focus. And when you talk about focus, you talk about focused target. And that is where we are missing it. Most of us tend to have focus, but we don't have a focused target. So as comrades, let's have a focused target. When I joined this place, I think the time I came here, I had a sequel on a school fees. 
So there was this gentleman called uh, Mr. Malau. I don't know if he's around here. He was one of the registrars. I had to go to his office in Mwambie Bana. I can't make it here. So kindly help me. Ningie to class, nisome. Then I look for school fees. And that's how it started. Yeah? Because I had deferred twice. So by then it was quite as the tena mwaka mwingine. So with determination, it's possible, you can make it. And I think I'll end it here. I'll organize for a day and have a great lecture with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. In our current National Assembly, we have many young people, very young people. Allow me to request the chairman of the young parliamentarians, the Honorable MP for Manyata Inembu, Getonga Mukoji. A young man, come here. Thank you, Excellency. All distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Comrades power. power. Comrades power. power. Uh, as you've been told, my name is Gitonga Mukunji. I'm the member of parliament of Manyata constituency in Embu. And I'm also the chairman Kenya Young Parliamentarians. I'm the chairman of Salasia. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Your Excellency, we are also learning from you. And every day when we accompany you and listen to your journey, we get more inspired as leaders because most definitely we have not gotten where we are supposed to get. Your Excellency, in the year 2011, uh, a young man in the University of Nairobi was trying to get attachment. And Your Excellency, I tried to look for anybody that is connected from my village, but I did not get an attachment. That made me so depressed, but it was a journey that I was starting because I decided in my mind that I'm never going to look for a job again. It is simply because an attachment, you don't look for payment, you look for experience. I sat down and I remember in the next semester that we were coming to fourth year, we had a professor called Professor Munavu. And we were being taught a course in storing of energy and renewable energy. And I thought I need to get something that I need to do so that I don't ever look for a job again. Your Excellency, with my help money of 25,000, I knocked in an office of a lawyer in Nairobi town and I registered a company called ERS in my fourth year. I didn't know what to do, but I said I am going to be an employer and not an employee. I started writing letters to companies, National Bank, almost all the banks that I could find on the road, telling them that I would like to be maintaining their power systems while at the same time I'm cleaning their server rooms so that they are clean. I wrote so many letters, Your Excellency, but one bank responded to me, but it did not respond with a job. It responded with a request that I come and clean their server rooms, take everything that is that, but not cost the bank even a single shilling. <laughs> I started collecting old batteries from that bank. I collected batteries all over Kenya, and I sold them with the cages. I made 800,000 Kenya shillings within the first four months of collecting those batteries. I started a company, and I started getting a client, another client, another client. By the time I was completing my degree in engineering, I had already gotten an office, 
I had already gotten a few of my colleagues as employees, and today I am here after doing business for those years as the member of parliament of Manyata constituency. <clears throat> that is a story of many of you, because I know when it comes to getting a chance is a problem. But I want to tell you something I normally say. I normally say, form ni kujituma. That is my slogan. Form ni kufanya nini? Na nasema usipojituma utatumwa. Na ukitumwa utatumiwa. So, young comrades, get opportunities in your problems. And you'll always get somewhere. Thank you very much for me, Kujituma. Asante, let me very briefly give three more because I want to answer your questions, isn't it? I want to invite a young engineer who is a member of parliament for Mgwen in other county, Jose Lemengit. Please clap for him and he come and say one minute. Be very brief. I want to show you that uh, we have very young leaders.